Did you just get a money point POS or you are interested in getting a money point POS and you do not understand how to use the POS? On this particular video, I'll be putting you through the step-by-step -step process on how you can use the money point POS. My name is Luka Samuel Lamidi and I'm a business relationship manager for money point. And on my YouTube video, I help a lot of people to understand the money point POS and also to solve issues using the money point POS. Over the few years, we've been able to reach over 350,000 people with our videos and a lot of people have been enjoying our videos and this has given us the motivation to also do more and also make sure that the videos we upload on this particular YouTube channel are classic and they are enjoyable as you learn. All right, we don't want to make the videos boring. We want to make you enjoy the videos even as you like. So for instance, we'll um, upgraded to getting the LED 800, LED 600 and also a wireless microphone and also a very good camera to make the videos, like I've said, enjoyable. So the first thing first, guys, I want to appreciate those that have subscribed to this YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing and in case you are watching this video for the first time and you have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button, just that button there, bam, subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you know you have a POS or you're anticipating in getting a POS, this YouTube channel is your home, right? You have a lot to learn. You have a lot of questions to get answer to. So, and also you want to like this video, liking this video, you're directly telling the algorithm to push out this video to a lot of people that are interested in watching this kind of video. And at the end of this video, if you find the video helpful, you can drop a comment by just saying thank you or a kudos on the comment section. And for those that will be having questions, of course, you know me, you can drop your questions on the comment section and I will go there as usual and attend to your question. Let's get started on today's video. All right, guys, so now we have the money points POS. So the first thing you want to understand when you get your POS before you attempt to start using the POS, you want to understand what kind of POS did I get? Is it the new Android version? Is it the previous Android version? Is it the traditional, the analog, or the flat screen? All right, so I have all of these terminals here and um, I'll be putting you through the differences and the particular terminal you've got in, you can drop it on the comment section. If you have the Android, say I have the Android. If you have the flat screen, say I have the flat screen. If you have the analog, drop it on the comment section. So the first thing you want to decide once you get your terminal is that you want to check this terminal I've gotten, am I going to be using a SIM card for this terminal or I want to be using a spot? Now, this sounds like a very simple question, but it's a question that you have to answer first. Otherwise, it's going to cause a lot of complication. It's going to make it look like you are not always prepared when you have a customer before you. Imagine having a customer coming to you and now you are trying to connect to your hotspot and it's not going and the customer is looking at you. Is this person serious about this business, right? So it makes you look unprepared. So as simple as the question is, you want to check, do I want to be using Hotspot or a SIM card? Personally, I would advise you to get a SIM card, write down the number before putting the SIM, before slotting the SIM into your POS. This is going to help you to get easy access to the number and you can always subscribe to that particular number without needing to remove the SIM and putting it back that's a lot of stress you don't want to go through. Now, the next thing you want to understand after doing that is that is the terminal up to date? Like once you got, get your terminal, you want to check is this terminal up to date? A lot of people experience issues with their POS because they fail to update the POS. Now, if you fail to update your POS over a very long period of time, you may start having some withdrawal issues. You may start having some issues like the POS not responding well. What does it mean to update and how do you go about updating your POS? I'll be putting you guys through it on this particular. Level. So depending on the kind of POS you've gotten, once you want to update your POS, you have to go to App Market on the POS. If you have your POS with you, you can be doing that currently. All right, so can you see this guys? And you will see update. I particularly did not update this because I'll be making this video. So I wanted to show you guys on how to update. So you can see this guys, then you click on update. So it's going to show downloading and it's going to read from zero and it's going to read down to 100. So you want to make sure that your terminal is updated after updating the terminal. Okay, as we can see here, it's downloading. All right, after updating the terminal, you want to move to the next question of getting to synchronize and getting to do download a lot of people feel like synchronizing and downloading keys is not necessarily important until you are faced with some issues or challenges i will advise you as an expert in this field that it is always advisable that once you get your terminal you move to downloading keys it makes the terminal prepare for work just like 
they are telling the terminal, you are now in the battlefield. Imagine a terminal that has been produced for over a long period of time. We don't know how long. And um, now you just pick up the terminal, you are just connecting them, and you are just, no, no, no. You have to let the terminal know that you are ready to work. The next two points I'll be sharing are literally the most important points you don't want to miss out on those particular points. This has been the reason why a lot of people experience loss on their POS, because once issues begin to come in, because you did not do what you are supposed to do, it becomes very difficult to solve those kind of issues. These are issues you could have managed if you had done the right thing. Before I move to that, I want to quickly talk about the software. Now, this software, I find this software very useful, and a lot of people have given testimony concerning this. I don't want to deny you that opportunity. The name of software is Easy Balance. Now, Easy Balance is an app that enables you and allows you to balance your POS transaction. If you are a cash in, cash out POS user, with Easy Balance, you can be able to track different transactions on different locations. So for those that are intending to have more than one location and you have your staff in different locations, trust me, no matter how you trust that particular staff, you want to make sure that they know that you are seeing everything they are doing. As long as they know that our boss is monitoring everything we are doing, it creates an accountability mindset in them and they always want to remit and be transparent as possible. So Easy Balance is that particular app for all POS users that helps them to balance their transaction. Go to Play Store if you are using the Android. Or for some of you that, are, of course, you are using an iPhone, go to App Store, type Easy Balance together, download the app, um, sign up using the referral code. For those that may be finding it difficult to get it, the link is beneath this video. Click on the link, get started. They are going to call you, they'll chat you up, respond to them nicely, they'll put you through the step by step process on how to get started on the app. And particularly coming from me, I'll be giving bonuses to those that will be coming from me. So once you get called and you are asked, tell them you are from this, my YouTube channel, which is everything payments, guys. And you'll be getting a discount on everything you'll be getting to do. And also there's a free trial for about three to two months. And I can guarantee you that this is the best app you'll be using as a POS user. So guys, our update is now completed, as you can see. Then you come to open right it's going to load and the new version we have here is version 1.1 1.10.3 right guys so for those using other terminals like the traditional terminal or the flat screen it's still the same process go to app market and click on update and it's going to count from 0 to 100 and it's going to give you the option to open so after that what you see is an account number on your screen this feature is known as the POS transfer feature a lot of people find this confusing with the account number on their wallet. And for some people, they have also activated their phone number to be their account number. So it looks like I have multiple accounts number. What do I do? All right. So I understand that. And I'll be explaining that briefly on this particular video. Now, the account number on your POS is known as your POS transfer feature. And this account number is there to enable you um, accept transfers that are done into the account the POS without needing to call the person that has access to the app. Imagine your boss dropping a POS at your location and a customer comes to purchase something and after transferring, you still have to contact your boss. Then the question is, what's now the need for the POS when I still have to call my guy? Have you seen the transfer? So the POS transfer feature allows you to be in charge of the business, right? It allows you to accept the transfer directly by yourself. So what you can do now is Click on this. Can you see this, guys? So once you click on it, you see pending transfer, accepted transfer, and declined transfer. So you come to pending transfer because also some people have challenges with this. After the transfer has been made, they don't even accept the transfer. So a lot of people, are, they have met me and they have complained physically online. And I discovered that they have over 20, over 100 pending transfer that they have not accepted, right? Because they don't understand. They don't know why. They keep saying, my money is missing. How do I go about it? So you have to manually accept these transfers, guys. You have to manually accept them. You go to pending transfer like I've shown you. You accept the transfer. The transfer you've accepted will be under accepted transfer. You can also decline the transfer and it's going to go back to the sender. All right. So um, I said something briefly about doing download key and synchronizing. For those that may not know how to do this, on your dashboard, click on more. Scroll down to admin. Can you see this, guys? Click on admin you see download keys right click on download keys and it's going to load and you see this guys loading keys 
it's going to load and it's going to show you download keys successful and also you want to synchronize on the terminal and once you are done with that this last thing i'm about to say is the most important part of this video and this is why a lot of people get a terminal and after three weeks the terminal stops working because they do not do this particular thing by now you should have liked this video by now you should have dropped a thank you on the comment section and by now you should have drop the type of terminal you are using i'm interested in knowing the type of terminal you are using guys so please drop it on the comment section tell me the type of terminal you are using the android the flat screen the d type the um, normal android we know drop it on the comment section and also please share this video to your friends your colleagues that are in the business with you subscribe to this youtube channel now the last thing we want to run once we get the terminal is that we want to do terminal diagnosis can you see this guys all right so what this is going to do is that it's a 14 test full system test that will be run on the terminal and it's going to tell you the working accuracy of each of the functions it's going to start from withdrawal function is going to move to a charging function is going to move to battery function is going to move to printer head function and all of this stuff but let me quickly explain the withdrawal function because a lot of people may struggle with that you put your card you see this part of the card will be on top and it's going to scan and give you the accuracy um the withdrawal efficiency then you move to charging you plug it it's going to give you charging you continue like that and until you are done with the putting test then you can tell by yourself that one part of this terminal is not working well right and you can contact those in charge do not attempt to operate the terminal by yourself contact those in charge and they will assist you on that i believe this video has been helpful and i get to ask um a lot of times people ask me can i get a ps from you yes of course you can get a money point ps from me chat me up on the number that is displayed on this link wherever you are in nigeria i'll get your ps delivered to you you can trust me i'm accountable i have reputation i have the track record of being efficient on this particular work thanks so much for watching guys Cheers. See you in the next video. God bless.